Since 1917, there's been a concerted effort to eliminate this animal, and it has thrived. The University of Colorado, when they heard about this, contacted the nation's leading expert on animal behavior, Dr. Mark Beckoff. And after three years of study, Dr. Beckoff found the reason that the coyote thrives and most animals can't even survive. And he came up with three words that form the basis of what we're going to do at the seminar for you today. And those three words are adaptability, adaptability to change, teamwork, the ability to harness the resources of others, and courage. Awesome courage to do whatever it's going to take. Go under, over, around, or through obstacles to achieve your objectives. So look at your agenda sheet. We've got to get outside the box of limiting our thinking of what we can do and get coyote power to think creatively and innovatively. So how do you do it? Don't think ordinary. Raise your hands if you have a goal. Well, it's just about everybody, hands down. How many have the goal written down? Raise your hand. Well, it's about half of you. How many have the goal written down and with you now and could show it to me as I come by? One, two, three people. I guess I'd be four. That was the idea I heard on the record by Earl Nightingale in 1976 that was the key to accomplishing what I did and overcoming the terrible situation I was in. To write a goal down, and to carry it with you, and to see it every day. Let me give you an illustration. Stay in your seats, raise up one hand. Raise up one hand. Reach up as high as you can. Stay in your seat, reach a little higher. Up, hands down. Did you feel what you just did? I said, raise your hand up, reach as high as you can. Then I said, reach a little higher. And you went up that extra half inch, quarter inch, three quarters of an inch. That's where your goal should be. We talked about the coyote and the Native Americans. Native American chief up on the reservation, college educated, takes over the chieftain of the tribe, doesn't know the old ways of his ancestors, knows the modern ways. The tribe asks him, what's it going to be like this winter? Being somewhat on the conservative side, he says to the tribe, I think it's going to be a cold winter. Better gather some firewood. But being a well-educated man, he decides he better check. So a couple of days later, he calls up the National Weather Bureau, gets a meteorologist, and says, can you give me the long-range forecast for the Indian Reservation? And the guy says, yes, I think it's going to be a pretty cold winter. So he goes back to the tribe, and he says, listen, I think we really better collect some firewood, because it could be a little colder than I thought. So the Indians get busy, start collecting firewood. A week later, he goes back on the cell phone, because he's a modern-day chief calls the meteorologist again. He says, you got any more updates on that weather forecast for the winter? He said, yeah, I think it's going to be a very cold winter. Oh, he goes back to the tribe. He says, hey, we better collect some firewood. This could be a really cold winter. A week later, he calls the same meteorologist. Any updates? He said, yes, I'm so glad you called back. This could be the coldest winter in recorded history. He goes back to his tribe. He says, we better collect firewood as never before. Two days later, he calls back, and he says to the meteorologist, any update? He said, yeah, this could be a tragedy. And the chief says, how do you know this information? He said, well, all I can tell you is the Indians are collecting firewood like crazy. <laughs> so you got to know the source of your information. Now, I told you I was going to tell you the 400-year legend that the Navajos have passed down from generation to generation. And it's this. They say to their children in legends that the last two things left on Earth will be a coyote and a crow. P.S., the legend says, and the crow should be very careful <laughs> because the coyote's going to thrive, and you can too. So I hope you take that material that you will build a better you and that you will make it a great day every day because you can thrive. Now do it and make it a great day.